welcome back to another vlog i've been thinking about vlogging all day and then finally starting it it's almost 7 p.m right now i thought for sure i'd have more energy right now with it being 7 p.m i was like yeah let's start it vlog at night it's gonna be totally fine let's see if i could wake myself up a little bit so we need to start making dinner here soon juan went out <laughs> to trade stickers with some friends really quickly. It's the World Cup sticker book. It's like, it's been the thing of the past month or so. He brought it with him last night to trade stickers and it was like a whole topic of discussion in Argentina as well. I feel a little bit delusional for some reason. I'm kind of like all over the place. But anyways, we just got back from Argentina a couple of days ago. So we're still getting settled in, still getting into our routine again, still unpacking, getting organized and all like that sort of stuff. So I just kind of feel like chaos at the moment. A couple of days at work have already been insane and then trying to catch up with like YouTube work as well with being gone for a couple of weeks. So this vlog is gonna go into the weekend and I just want it to be like a super cozy weekend. I wanna be chill, I wanna just like catch up on things. So that's what we're doing. Oh, and then cleaning as well. Let me give you a sneak peek. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess right now. I also desperately need to wash this hair and wash my face as well. I just look like a massive grease ball, including my hair. My hair is so incredibly greasy. So I think that that's gonna be on the to-do list for tomorrow because I don't have the energy to do that right now. I mean, for sure, wash my face, but I'm not gonna wash my hair. That's that's a task in itself, right? I surprisingly got some sun in Argentina and some of my melasma came back. So we need to work on treating that. However, I think I realized that the stuff, um, what company is it called? Muesli, that I got the hydroquinone combo cream to use for my face. I think it breaks me out. I can't use it too many days in a row or else I'll have like some new breakouts on my face, which is um, very, very unfortunate. So I'll have to figure out a way to treat the melasma or just suffer through using the cream until it gets to be in a good place, like my melasma in a good place and then stop using the cream. I don't know, I gotta figure it out. I have on the counter some things that we brought back from Argentina. So if you guys watched my Argentina vlogs, you guys would have seen this, but if you haven't seen it, go back and watch them. They are so good. I split it into two different videos. Ugh, and I'm just, I love the memories. So anyways, I got these wine glasses and these like drinking glasses. We kind of already regret only getting four. We should have got at like minimum six, eight would have been better, but that's okay. I mean, these are gorgeous, but I can't find them anywhere online to try to get more. That's all right. These, Four little guys were a gift and I think that they're just like so cute like these shot glasses like are you kidding me it's so adorable and then these I am so excited about I have like tons of like things that were in my bag for the plane anyways so these I was obsessed about getting I saw them I think day one or day two of our trip but I didn't end up picking them up until our last day on the trip and these are the candles that i was kind of talking about the whole vlog that i needed to go back and pick up i just love the design of these i think they're gonna look so pretty wherever i decide to put them and they smell absolutely divine too it's this scent called maracuja but it's a fruit and it just smells super good pretty much all the mixed drinks i was having had that fruit in it oh it's so sweet so delicious so yeah uh the scent of all of these is the same and i just loved the different look of all of like these candles lastly of course we had to pick up some candy some sweets some chocolates this is by far like one of my favorite brands i don't know if it's like an argentine brand i think it is it's the only place that we can get it i don't know if i'm going to pronounce it right but it's called rapanui and oh i'm so in love so these are like bark type of chocolates which is good this is a chocolate that has like peanut butter in it this is a sea salt and caramel chocolate i think it's dark chocolate 
This is just a dark chocolate bar, which is 60%. And then these are so delicious. I'll have to open them up this weekend and show you, um, but they're bears with dulce de leche in it. Oh, delicious. These two are white chocolate, and then these two are um, normal like milk chocolate ones. Ooh, I'm so excited for this stock up. And while I'm talking about things, we just got this bowl in, massive bowl for like salads or whatever for parties. I got it off of Amazon. I'm so in love with it. It just came in today. And then Juan also brought back some books. There's like more books upstairs too that he had at um, his parents' house. That's also the other thing is that there's so many packages that was coming in either yesterday or that I had come in while I was gone. So I went to my mom's to pick up a lot of packages and I've been just like opening packages and going through stuff. So perhaps I will share some stuff with you as well that I picked up. I actually just got in a new designer purse too that I'm really excited about. So maybe I'll do an unboxing for that as well. But let me text Juan, see where he's at and how far away he is from being back home. Um, but we're gonna make salmon. Eee! and maybe some like rice for the side. And I'm gonna use my air fryer. I used it last night for the first time and it was joyous. I absolutely loved it. This is the air fryer that I got. I saw really good reviews on it and it was flawless last night. I'm honestly about to be super obsessed with air frying things. It was so fast and so easy. I just washed this. Um, in preparation for reusing it. So we're gonna use this bad boy tonight, but I do need to make rice and that's just gonna be on the stove. So maybe I can get that prepped at least. So we all know rice takes like 30 minutes and cooking salmon is gonna be like eight minutes. So I should probably get started on that. Okay, rice is almost done. It just needs 10 more minutes and then it'll be ready to go. So this is the time that we're gonna start on like the salmon and stuff. This is gonna be like a lemon garlic no what is it called butter oh lemon butter that's right but <laughs> i thought garlic because i did put garlic in it but it's yeah lemon butter little sauce to go on top and so this needs to go on the stove for like a minute but it has butter lemon worcestershire sauce actually and some fresh garlic <laughs> it's oliver's dinner time at the same time but we ran out of food for him we portion it all out into like these little jars and it's just like one of these every single night because it's raw food and I don't want to keep that huge thing in the refrigerator for the entire time of the duration of that container because it'll go bad. So we portion it all out, but we're all out of these. So we need to reportion it and Juan is taking over the task for me this time. Do you think you can do it, babe? I'm do you better. think you're as good as I am? I did it last time. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. I really forgot how to do it. <laughs> Great. I've done it five million times. Mm. I'm excited to take a break from it. Let's see how you do. I'll judge you. <laughs> okay, let's uh, start on the salmon. So it's all padded dry and we put some salt and pepper on it. So I think we can go ahead and throw this in the air fryer. Okay, we need to preheat it. First, let's use the fish. No, cancel. <laughs> Pretty heat. At 350. Go. Cool. Those are a little full, babe. I always find it easier with the baby spoon or the baby fork. And then I kind of aim for like this line right here. But I like pack it down so that you can tell how much is in it. Like this way. Do you want dinner early? You can't whine at me, Oliver. You're getting this early, okay? So here's the salmon, and then, what is it, fish, and then just stir. 
Okay, let's take a look. Oh, wow. Babe, does this look done? Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Yummy, babe. How much rice do you want? That's it. Okay. Yummy. And we're going to sit down and watch the season finale of the Rings of Power while eating our dinner. How is it? Is it good? She's our only salvation. Nothing. Two dishes. It's light. King Dolan. Enough! I will not risk war and lions. Mm -hmm. else. Death. This is good. <laughs> Babe, I can't get over how easy this was. Eight minutes. You throw it in and forget it. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Good morning. This morning has already started off productively. Took a shower, washed my hair finally, and then I was picking up um, my room putting away all the like clothes and stuff so things are things are going well but I'm starving I still need to eat breakfast so we're gonna have some breakfast my good old trusty life cereal cinnamon and after this I need to start to do like some work stuff just a little bit I have two collaborations coming up which I'm so excited for and so grateful for but i need to get like a little bit um might as well just use the rest of this one i need to get more organized for it as in i don't know i think i need to like create outfits and figure out my direction kind of like what i want to do with it so we're going to do that after breakfast Let's take my probiotics i was really bad about taking these in argentina so i'm trying to get back like in the group of taking this <laughs> Look at Oliver, just cutely waiting for his breakfast. Oh my God. <laughs> Oliver, do you want your breakfast? Do you want your breakfast? Okay. Okay. Oh, it's all, it's, it's full. I already fed him though. Oh my God, he was literally sitting here like super cutely, like waiting for his breakfast. Bro. You were gonna fool me. You weren't even fed. What? I mean, I just fooled you a little bit more. I'll act like I'm. Eh? Here. I acted like I gave you some. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> Putting some books away, are we? So, what'd you bring back? Some comics? Um, and I brought some coins. A football book. Our bookcase is really getting full of books, no? <gasps> Danger. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, I put that somewhere. I'm like really loving how the bookcase is coming along now. Yeah. Oh. You want a small piece of chocolate? No. <laughs> Not right now, I'm eating breakfast. What? You can have it. Do you want chocolate for breakfast? I'm going to have a bear. Babe, you can't have the bear yet. What? Not yet. What? Because I want one too, but I don't want candy right now. You said that I could have it. Well, yeah. But not right now. Did you see what I sent you? Yeah. The Target Black or whatever it's called. The what? Oh, no. Oh. Did you send me something else? Yeah. Like, oh. Uh, taco shells? Oh, no. I need a... Can you bring me my phone? Eh? Can you bring me my phone? Yeah. 
Awesome. We can make that in the air fryer. Pretty good, no? Yeah. We just need to find that pasta. Yeah, we need to find that pasta. Juan sent me a recipe, a potential recipe we can do for the air fryer, which is like air fried taco stuffed shells using like this really big pasta shell that you like stuff it and stuff. I don't know. Looks pretty good. I just tried the trending pasta chips. I think the pasta chips trend oh. is making pasta in the air fryer. Yes. To make it cheap. Yeah. Let me. I'll go on Amazon Fresh and see if I can find it. I mean, they are called like they have to be called something shell. Yeah. I was gonna search pasta shells. Oh, large jumbo. And we need to make the lemonade today. Yeah, we're gonna make the lemonade today. We're gonna share it with the vlog fam. In Argentina, they're, they have like fresh juices everywhere you go. But in particular, the, what place? The, um, Lodafaco, where we had, oh my God, I've been gone from Argentina for like two days and I forgot all my Espanol. No, but in particular, the food. What did we eat? Oh my gosh, yes. Milanesas. The place that had all the Milanesas. And they had this delicious lemonade. Oh my god, it was... I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna wait to share it with you guys. But I got all the ingredients to try and duplicate it at home. So, we're gonna make that in a little bit. And I'm so excited. I'm salivating. I just realized, babe, that we don't have like a glass pitcher. Or like a pitcher of any kind. Where? Oh, one of those? Okay. No, I have my... Yeah, the gla the one they have water in. Yeah, they need Yeah, I was thinking of an actual shaped pitcher with like a spout. I can go on Amazon and see if I can get one. Babe? Yes? Oh, hi. I'm ready. I can't decide if this is a cute outfit or a really ugly outfit. Really ugly. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we just went out and took some pictures for the collaboration I'm working on. It's actually going to be with Princess Polly, and I'm really excited about it. I got some really cute, like, fall outfits, so look forward to that video. But we just came back to get changed again because I was wearing, like, a really, like, nice oversized sweater. But it's, like, 75 degrees outside, so I was sweating a little bit. So I put on, like, a sweater vest, and we're going to go get some tacos. And <laughs> I just got, like, these new jeans, too. It's, like, a... A darker wash, which I really like, and then just like some good old sneakers. But yeah, I can't decide if this is a really cute outfit or just extremely ugly. But like, I'm kind of vibing with it, so okay. we're gonna go for it. Let's go. <laughs> but do you like this oversized sweater vest? I like this sweater, yeah. It's like a poncho. I was gonna, it's like a poncho. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Guys' inputs on women's clothing is hilarious to me. I was gonna wear trousers, but I feel like I've been wearing just like black trousers a lot. That would obviously look very cute with this, but I was trying to switch things up and like wear jeans. Okay, let's go eat. <laughs> I'm gonna switch out of my belt bag, and then we're gonna use the Bottega today, babe. It's happening. What's happening? This purse is happening. Just finished lunch and we are gonna walk over to a local nursery, see what they have, any like fresh fruits, veggies, see if they have rainier cherries, which is Juan's favorite. Probably I'll, not. Probably not. I think they're out of season. Too late. But we'll see, you never know. I don't think there's- Last batch. Last batch? Yeah. Do you think that they have it then? No. But maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, I'm also going to make a soup tonight, which I'm really excited about. I think I have everything I need for it, but I'll see if they have anything that looks like better and fresher, maybe. Maybe some corn, although I think we passed the season on that too. 
Oh, corn. Yeah, right. I don't know. Corn on the cob, I feel like it's more of like a summer thing. I don't know. Look at all the cute little... Oh. oh my god, you're so cute. The cute little puppy. Babe, what are your thoughts on a dog now that you just spent over two weeks with Cali oh, back in Argentina? Me. It's his family dog in Argentina if you missed the vlog. We need a little bit of What? Do you think we're ready? Are we ready to have a dog? Oh. We have Oliver. <laughs> Not the same. I know, but a puppy and a dog, it's so much work. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to be just yet. <laughs> Just got home and a lot of packages were at the door. So let's open them. I also just changed because I'm sweating. Balls up. It's so hot outside. It's confusing weather, you know, because it's fall. So like the morning starts out super cold, but then it's still like pretty hot here in Seattle. Like today is going to be just shy of 80 degrees. Like what the heck is going on? I mean, I love it, but you know. Okay, so first things up, I got um, a few cutting boards off of Amazon. This is the first one to arrive. I have like a thing for cutting boards. <laughs> like I, I can't get enough. It's like, um, it's like a pair of jeans. Like you're always looking for the next like best one. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it's all about. Camera, why are you turning blurry? Sorry guys. Uh -huh. And all these cutting boards were like super affordable. Like I think this was like 50 bucks. I love it. Babe, look. Is that the Amazon one? Yeah. Wait, not the Amazon. This is, well, you get it off of Amazon. But it's that brand. Yeah, that one brand. It's called it's Ironwood. Heavy. Oh wow, this is heavy and it looks substantial. Like babe, this is like the perfect cutting board to just like have out and cut with all the time you know oh wow here it is i'm pretty impressed it's like a really big cutting board let's use it tonight when we make our soup yes oh actually before we continue with um babe your shoes are everywhere <laughs> before we continue opening packages i wanted to run an idea past you guys so I have two dining room chairs right here um, in the living room. I'm thinking about adding some like a uh, lounge chairs, accent chairs. That's the word I'm looking for right here. I'm all over the place. Uh, we're continuing to watch the Mariners game. This is like the first time since 2001 that the Mariners have gotten this far. So let's hope that they continue to do well. Super exciting. Okay, so I added two of the dining chairs here to give like an idea of what it would look like to have an accent or two accent chairs here. This is kind of the look I was going for. I use these chairs because this is like the closest chair that we have that would get close to an actual size of an accent chair. So keep in mind this isn't obviously what it would look like. I think the accent chairs are like a little bit wider. They are a little bit shorter and then they go deeper like all the way back. But I put it on the line of the rug so that you guys could see and then I spaced them out uh, quite a bit to try to keep in mind like a little side table or something that we would put right there yeah what do you guys think i feel like it would look nice in here and there's additional adjustments that we would need to make like i would move the rug a little bit more up and then we would kind of adjust the couch 
play one. <laughs> And then I would also adjust the couch to be like more that way and then a little bit this way. So everything would fit a lot better. We're worried it might be like too crowded looking, but these are going. And then reminder, the couch would be back and then farther that way. I don't know, I feel like it could work and I just like kind of circling out the living room and just more inviting for more people to sit, you know? Two of these are island lights, like light pennants, because I want to finish out switching out the lights. And there was two options on Amazon that looks either like close dupes or identical dupes to this chandelier that we got over here from RH. So I wanted to see if I can find a dupe because spending $150 on three lights versus like $1,600. I want to try to save some money. So this is like the first one. It looks like that. So we'll have to like pull these out in a little bit and see what they look like. I don't know which box it is, so we'll just have to open these boxes and see. But yeah, I'm like on a mission, you guys, now that I'm back home to just completely finish out the designing and decorating the space. Oh, so we're going to continue doing that. Babe, I ordered some glasses that were similar to the ones that we got in Tulum. The hand-blown ones, but for like daily drinking. What do you think? I got six of these. I like that they were tall, so they hold like more water or liquid, whatever you want to use them for. And they're made in Mexico too. These are so cool. I didn't know that they were coming today. You in love? I like that. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, <gasps> yes. Let's no. wash them and use them when we make the lemonade. So the same brand as the cutting board, which I'll link that and obviously all this stuff down below for you guys. It had so many amazing wood products from, I mean, salad forks, which this is, but like salt containers and any sort of different things made out of wood. It's actually the same brand that we got the big wooden bowl from that i showed you guys yesterday so yeah i went kind of crazy with this brand and ordered like a bunch of stuff what do you think do you like them mm -hmm. we'll see if they're like big to match the big bowl but yeah little salad forks and stuff to toss it is this the one day same day delivery <laughs> so this morning i ordered a glass pitcher after we were talking about making lemonade and that we didn't have a glass pitcher. So I ordered one and it was same day delivery and it's already delivered. Ta -da! <laughs> I wanted one like with a lid on it and it has like a little strainer too. Perfect for our lemonade. And then this must be the other light fixture because both were supposed to be delivered. So this style more closely matches what we currently have with like the metal in between the glass. So I am like dying. I'm so excited to see how these look and get the installed if it looks good. And then I'll show you, obviously, duh, I always do, the after of what these look like. That's everything that I want to share with you guys. I'll link everything down below for you. There's a couple packages over here that are Revolve, but I can do that separately, like in another video or do it later, so. Hey. It's sugar, we can add it back and put sugar. So you want to try it without sugar? Yeah. Okay, I'll hold off then. Okay, so we're setting up to make the lemonade. I don't know, babe, is this like special to Argentina that they make lemonade like this? Because I've never seen lemonade made like this. I have no idea. Probably not. Probably not. Okay, so the lemonade that we had that, whoa. The lemonade that we had in Argentina that I just like, absolutely became obsessed with and at the restaurant that we first or i first tried it at we actually asked them how they made it because it just 
was so delicious. So it's lemon, mint, and ginger. Sugar, optional. I think it actually does have sugar in it, but we're gonna try it without sugar to start because I want this to be like a healthier sort of drink versus adding sugar. You know, sugar is not good. But yeah, I'm really just like eyeballing everything. We're just gonna try it out and see how it works out. I don't think that these portions are perfect by any means, but we're gonna, we're gonna test it out. So we put, wow, babe, that's how much water was in that. You didn't fill it all the way up because the lemon juice and stuff is gonna add. It's two liters, so you can, we can drop a little bit. Let's drop some. Okay, so this is just under two liters of water or 64 ounces of water. No! Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. We changed the pitcher because he was sucking, and now we knocked them out. Good news for Mariners so far. Okay, let's do this. Bottom of the ninth, so if we score, we, do, we win. Ah! Okay, so we're gonna put lemons, you just peel off the lemons and the water. Oop. We're putting it into the blender because that's how like they made it versus juicing it so you'll get more. And then after this, we're gonna like strain it because I'm not a big fan of pulp. Um, we have the ginger and then I just had like two mint leaves, barely that. We'll see how this goes. No sugar. <laughs> Babe, that's looking pretty damn good. By the way, I used the new cutting board and I'm kind of in love with it. Are you assisting me, babe? Do you want to try it first? Mm, I guess so. Okay. Babe, it's all pulpy. <laughs> I'm I hate, that face. I hate pulp. It's pretty plain without the sugar. I mean, it's just lemony. There's no like sweetness to it. <laughs> what do you think? So we can put a little bit of sugar. Do you want more mint? Yeah. And more ginger? No, I can taste the ginger. Okay, never mind. I guess we're gonna change our mind on the sugar aspect. Do you wanna pour some sugar in it, babe? Because I mean, we can try honey or something like that if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Your mom actually recommended that. She's like, you can always just try honey. Perfect. Dump it in. Less than a half cup of sugar. We're gonna add to it. My nut bag coming in clutch, babe. Okay, we got first and second. One out. All of a sudden, we're major baseball fans. Next time, we could probably skip on doing the nut bag and do just a normal strainer, like a mesh one, because look, no mint is in it. You know? Let's try it on camera and then get back to watching. Three out. Cheers. This is pretty good. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Are you happy with it? Delicious. Yeah, this is delicious. Okay, try it, guys. I think that you guys will love it. And I love that. This is cute. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. <gasps> nope, it's too short. Yep. Goodbye, Mariners. That was a good run. You guys, that went on for 18 innings, and it was like a seven hour game, insanely long, and then we lost. <laughs> oh well. On to better news. I am prepping our chowder and our soup that we're gonna make right now. <laughs> Juan busted out the sunglasses for me because my eyes were starting to water when chopping the onion. It was slightly ridiculous. Okay, so this is the chowder that we are going to make. It is from Half Baked Harvest. She has so many recipes that I wanna try, so I'm starting with this one. I'm very excited about it. It is like this creamy corn bacon zucchini sort of chowder. So I got everything all prepped and ready to go. We have the corn, we have um, potatoes, uh, yellow onion. It asks for Gouda cheese and cheddar cheese. We have garlic chives, 
I think that's what that was. <laughs> um, zucchini. And then I, we need to start on the bacon right now. Blendon also asked for like a few other things. So everything is ready to go. The fan is on, so it's gonna be loud, but Juan's crisping up the bacon. I got a little restless waiting for the chowder. So I moved around everything right here on the counter. I don't know, I wasn't feeling the other layout of it. And I just decided let's just switch things up, see if this works out. If not, then I can continue to switch things up. So starting out, like I really wanted this in the corner versus the Amazon device was here before. And I liked that I put it like on a cutting board. So I feel like that makes like a good statement. This stayed here, this stayed, and then this was over here. So I moved that here. I also switched around these appliances. This was actually over in this area on the other side of the counter. But now that I have an air fryer out, I thought that the look better over here. We'll see, the tea stuff is over there still. So I don't know. I just got this little board from Target before we left to go to Argentina. And I like that. I kept this over here, some of the cutting boards here, and then I put the Amazon device over here in the corner instead. I feel like I'm vibing with it. I feel like Juan's gonna hate that this is in the corner, but we'll see <laughs> if it lasts. <laughs> Okay, we need to see if the potatoes are tender. Oh yeah, super tender. Okay, so we have to move half of it to the blender so that we can blend it super creamy and then add it back in. So I'm just gonna take this cup and start to take out half. so good it's coming off a little green versus the recipe was yellow because we use zucchini and i think that they use yellow squash so but yummy and here we have it it's a masterpiece <laughs> <laughs> what's the verdict babe let's mix in the bacon mm. Mm. I think you should put it a little bit of um, salt. A little bit salt? Yeah. Yeah. You want me just to put salt in the thing? We can, yeah. Here, let me put it now. The salt definitely did the trick. I put some in, but I guess I didn't put enough because it didn't have any instructions on salt. It just said like sprinkle some in. Clearly it needed more. Okay, that soup was absolutely delicious. We just cleaned up like the kitchen a little bit. We still need to do more, but it's in a good spot. But I wanted a little snack. Babe, do you want a bear? Let's have a bear, one bear. He opened this earlier. These are so good. Can you buy these here? You know. Um, who am I? 
Is this um, an Argentine brand? It is. Okay, I wasn't sure earlier. Okay, it is. Here's your bear. Cheers. Cheers. So this little bear is so delicious and it has dulce de leche in the inside. Oh my God, these are amazing. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Not to be confused with caramel because it's not the same thing. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Babe, I'm pretty tired. Me too. I'm really for dead. Yeah. Let's go upstairs. I'm so surprised. I feel like since I've gotten back, I've just been going to bed at like 10. I mean, which is great instead of my usual time, which is like midnight, 1 a.m. Yeah. Which has been making me wake up earlier, which I also enjoy. I've been waking up like at eight. I've been waking up at 5.30. Yeah, you've been waking up so early. I heard you leave the bedroom this morning, like so early. It's insane. Babe, I'm gonna have another bear. Whoa. Whoa, I know. Do you want another one? No. That's okay, we're even, because you had one earlier. So you had two today, and now I'll have two today. Mm, 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 mm. Yum. Divine. Good morning, or I should say good afternoon. I have been getting organized this morning. This space was like the biggest mess ever. Like, I couldn't even see the floor. And so I've been spending like the last hour and a half cleaning it all up getting things organized especially for like my collaboration i was building outfits and doing all that i'm like absolutely obsessed with it but then i was trying on this new jacket that i got from revolve i did buy it with my own money and i put on like a full outfit to try to style it because i'm trying to decide if it works and if i should keep it because i'm so obsessed with it like so obsessed with it but it's really oversized let me show you See, like, look how big it is, you know, but it's kind of a vibe at the same time, like being this oversized. So I was trying to like throw on some jeans. I don't think that these jeans are absolutely perfect for this. I also just got these jeans in like a couple weeks ago, again, with my own money, but I need to like get the waist taken in a little bit and I need to get them hemmed up as well. But I just wanted a reference point but what do you guys think? Is it like just too big, too oversized? Or does it look like effortlessly oversized? Especially if I pair it with like some booties or something to give me some height. I don't know, maybe. I think it could work. I'm just like so in love with it. Love the color. I love like the detail on it too. So I guess we'll see. I really like this turtleneck as well that I have underneath it. Just imagine it being a little bit more snatched. There we go. No, perfect color. It's really thick and a nice material too. And I love like the detail going down it. Okay, let me change. There, back in PJs. Today is gonna be like just a PJs kind of a day. I have on these like green men's sleep bottoms. They're just so soft. I just got them in so I need to wash them to see if they like shrink up a little bit. Otherwise, I don't really care because they're just like sleep lounge pants, you know? But I love like the green color of them they're perfect and then just like this whatever t-shirt i have on that i kind of have like tucked up too so got everything hung up and got things more organized so now i can see the carpet again which i'm very happy about and then this stuff over here i've decided that i'm gonna sell some of my yeezys i think i'm gonna post on my poshmark let me know if you guys are interested in that at all also i've decided i'm gonna try to sell one of my handbags not sure the best place to sell it if i should just do poshmark or if i should do like a secondhand bag resell place like the real real or something like that so i'm gonna see but it's this college ysl purse god i love it i've barely used it i mean it still has like some of the original plastic still all over it and it has like this chain and stuff like that so i don't know it's really cute i just never grab it and gravitate towards it and i've been starting to get like other designer purses so i'd rather just give it to someone that would use it and love it so much and then speaking of new purses i mentioned it i think yesterday but i just got a new one and let's unbox it together because i haven't even opened it yet 
<laughs> I've been saving it for you guys to unbox it together. It's a different YSL bag, so let me grab it. Tell me how I maintained self-control to not open this. I've had it for like two or three days and I haven't even opened it yet. Oh, so much self-control. Okay. I'm so excited. So it's another YSL bag. I'm like in my YSL era. I feel like I always have been. It's one of my favorite designers. <laughs> Take off all of the plastic. Here she is. Oh, it's just like a small bag that I can put crossbody like this. And I love that the strap is short because I love where it hits on me. There is like some adjustment that I can do to make it shorter and or longer. But you guys, I just love this color. I don't have a handbag that is this color. And it's like the perfect like just neutral creamy color that's gonna go with everything and i love the gold hardware too because i wear mostly golds <sighs> yes we're obsessed so open it like this and it's just the perfect amount of space in it too fit my phone there's even a pocket right here i don't carry too much i carry like my card case my keys my phone which is typically in my hands maybe chapstick or lip liner if i'm going out at night and then maybe my vlog camera too and all of that would fit in this just fine because i have smaller purses than this and all of that fits in that so here she is the beauty that is this bag here she is if i stand up oh right here too it'd be super cute i really don't buy designer bags all that often i think that this is probably my fourth designer bag purchase like ever maybe that's a lie i mean for sure it's under six <laughs> so i don't get them all that often i have a hard time like just spending that much money on a handbag but sometimes there's those handbags i come across and i'm just like oh my god i cannot live without it i want it so bad especially something that's just so classic like this that's just gonna pair with everything i feel like i can justify it a little bit better especially like if you just have like a really cute like simple outfit on and you put a designer bag with it it just makes the outfit look so much better too i don't know i may sound ridiculous but anyways i'm really really happy with that bag i don't know the full name of it off the top of my head so i will put it in the description for you guys if you wanted to check it out and it does come in like other colors too which is nice i just placed a massive abercrombie and fitch order which i'm really excited about so that haul would probably be coming in the next couple weeks i feel like it takes abercrombie a while to like ship but i'm so 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 excited for all the pieces i ordered and then last night we ended up hanging up one of the light fixtures i realized i didn't have the right light bulbs so i just put in like whatever light bulb was in the light fixture before but it looks incredibly ugly with that sort of light bulb i wanted to have like these kind of light bulbs so i ordered them they're going to be coming on monday and then while i was at it i ended up ordering uh two more of these so that we can do it like this next week but i feel like i really like it wow this kitchen Ooh. is still a mess even though like we cleaned it up like we did so much dishes and stuff so now we just like need to put it all away <laughs> prepping our lunch right now the air fryer is preheating juan is doing some dishes but what we're gonna do is essentially just like a bunch of vegetables <laughs> and probably some bread on the side one just ran to the store and got some fresh bread too and so for potatoes it's a mix of like baby potatoes but also like a russet potato in here and i did a combination of these seasonings so i did just some black pepper and some salt paprika garlic rosemary and then all tossed in like olive oil too and then some carrots which i'm really excited about this is like a honey soy carrot mix in here i'm salivating <laughs> it has some olive oil in here too um some salt some pepper as well and then some yellow onions that just have some salt and pepper on it delicious
Okay, we have the Seahawks game on and Juan's having a call with his mom, which is really nice to catch up with her. Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs> Guess they're getting off the phone. I wanted some more of the lemonade. Look at this, you guys. We already need to make more. So we might make more later today. And then for lunch, this is what we're working with. So we have some roasted onions, roasted potatoes, roasted honey glazed carrots, and then a side of some bread. Juan just got this like what, an hour ago? And already we've like finished it as we've been waiting for this to cook. So we're gonna go eat this and watch the game. I'm sorry, what are we getting into? A little snack. A little snack. That's it? For you? Or for me? We should have both more of We should have. Babe, what is it? Morock? Maroc. Morock. Ma. Maroc. Maroc. Chocolate and peanut butter. Peanut butter. Are we gonna have a white bear? I'm having one. Give me one thing. I want one. Are you gonna have a chocolate bear too? No, that's too much. <laughs> one for me. And another one for you. Yummy. Yummy. Oh no, my camera's dying, babe. You think she? No, let's go. I mean, I don't want my. Oh, so all of it's for me. Seahawks won. I am upstairs now trying to do some laundry and then I just set up all like my filming equipment so that I can start to film a little bit before we get into like the busy week and I just get like way too busy with like Amazon stuff and everything. I still want to try to take advantage of today but it's almost 5 p.m. The day is starting to wrap up. I can't decide if this is blurry or not. It better <laughs> but i think this is going to be an extremely long vlog i vlogged all weekend friday saturday and sunday so i know i have a lot of footage so i'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here hopefully you guys enjoy really long vlogs and hopefully you guys really enjoyed this one it feels good to be home so much exciting content i have planned now that i'm back home and now that it's fall because in argentina it's spring so it feels good to be in fall weather I kind of was secretly missing it. It was weird to go from spring, summer, spring again, instead of heading right into fall. <laughs> but if you guys have any ideas for videos that you'd like to see from me, hauls, anything like that, just let me know down below. I'd love to add it to my schedule and make sure that I am giving you guys content that you guys wanna watch. But I hope you guys had a great weekend yourselves and I'll see you guys in a couple of days in my next video. Bye, love you guys so much. Mwah.